The Glorious Story of Prophet Muhammad Part 1 Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him was born in Mecca. On Rabi al Avil 12, 570 C, his father died before his birth. The infant Muhammad was handed to a Bedouin wet nurse to be brought up by her in the healthy atmosphere of the desert. At the age of five, Muhammad returned to the care of his mother, Amina bint Wab, but she died a year later. Muhammad then went to his paternal grandfather, Abdul Muttalib. He died when Muhammad was eight. He was then brought up by his uncle Abu Talib. At the age of 12, he accompanied his uncle in a merchant's caravan to Syria. As a young man Muhammad was content to work as a shepherd. But his uncle Abu Talib desired something better for him. He obtained employment with a rich widow, Khadija bint Kuwailid ibn Asid. Thus Muhammad found himself at the age of 25, in charge of a caravan conveying merchandise to Syria. On his return, Khadija was so pleased with his successful management of her business. She was attracted by his noble character that she sent her sister to offer the young man Khadija's hand. Muhammad had felt drawn to Khadija. And so matters were soon arranged. Their 26 years of married life were singularly happy. Muhammad continued to work as a merchant. His fairness further enhanced his reputation as al -Amin the trustworthy. He continued to take an ever-increasing interest in public affairs and to exert himself in the service of the poor, the helpless, and the weak. Whenever the iniquities of his people oppressed him, Muhammad retired to the solitude of a cave in Mount Hira outside Mecca. Solitude became a passion with him. And every year he would retire to the cave for the whole month of Ramadan to mediate. It was on one of these occasions, when he was 40 years of age that Muhammad received the call, his first revelation, one night. While lying absorbed in his thoughts in the solitude of the cave, Muhammad was commanded by a mighty voice to go forth and preach. Muhammad rose trembling and hastened home to seek rest and solace in Khadija's tender care. And she calmed and comforted him. She later consulted her kinsman, Warakah ibn Naval. He declared that the heavenly message that had come to Prophet Musa peace be upon him, had now come to Muhammad, and that he was chosen as a prophet of Allah. Khadija was the first to accept the truth of Islam. Muhammad then communicated his experience to his cousin Ali, his adopted son Zaid, and his intimate friend Abu Bakr. The Prophet began by preaching his mission secretly first among his intimate friends, then among the members of his own tribe, and thereafter publicly in the city and suburbs. The Quraysh tribe were the guardians of the Kaaba, which was a source of great prestige and profit to their city, Mecca. They were therefore seriously alarmed and became actively hostile towards Muhammad. Part 2 will be uploaded soon. Subscribe for more videos.